Hello guys and welcome to Vlogmas part 2. Get ready for the jingles. <laughs> You are very noisy. I'm just about to take the dogs out for a walk. It's the 1st of December today. Excuse the red nose. I haven't had the chance to um, top up my makeup before I start filming this. It's looking very blue. I'm hoping this camera adjusts. My new camera has just arrived and I am so excited. I'm gonna unbox it in a second with you guys because this one is just, it has seen better days. It is so cold today. Oh, let's avoid treacle doing a poo. It's so, 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 so freezing cold today. And I've been dashing around like a headless chicken. I'm also really out of breath, so I just ran upstairs to get a battery for my camera. And now I realize how unfit I am. Wow, that's a massive kite. I hope that doesn't try and eat Piggy. Seriously. Anyway, it's super cold today. I've been dashing around like a headless chicken, trying to get everything done. All of my Christmas giveaways go live today, and the last Christmas gift guide goes live. So I've been trying to get everything filmed and shot and ready so that I can edit it on the plane tomorrow because at six o'clock tomorrow morning I'm flying to New York. I haven't even thought about packing yet. It's currently, uh, I think it's just before 4 p.m. because it's about to go dark. I just looked out the window, the dogs were going crazy. I was like, I need to take them for a walk right now. Otherwise they're never gonna forgive me. And the light is so, so beautiful. Look at this beautiful sky, guys. Just absolutely stunning. I was like, quick, I better dash outside the doggies are here, taking them for a little walk, and it's one of those days. You know what, I actually really don't mind the super cold weather. It's making me feel really Christmassy, and I'm not mad about it. Okay, should we try something new? Oh, I just nearly just slid in the mud. Oh my goodness. I was not anticipating it being that slip slidey. Should we do a little outfit? Dog walk outfit of the day. The camera's super low, because I'm going down, 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 down. I feel like very school mum vibes today. Have on. My favourite New Balance trainers that are now caked in mud. My Varley leopard leggings. An old hoodie, can't remember where it's from, um, that's black. My black scarf from N Peel, which is a fave, because it's so cold. My Ghani hat, which I also have in pink, but I like this one better. And my All Saints puffer, which I'm not gonna lie, I've been wearing every day this week, because it has been super duper cold. I'm gonna kind of try and walk this mud off the bottom of my trainers and also find Piglet, who in that short intermission that I was just talking to camera, has disappeared. That was an utter fail. I'm try and clean them off, but I wanted to take this to the airport with me in the morning and I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm trying to angle this video so that you don't see the state of the kitchen. So basically, I'm like pushed into a tiny corner. It's such a mess in here. Anyway, I am gonna unbox the new camera. I'm so excited about this because I've been using the camera that I've been filming on for years and years. It's a Canon G7X. It's not even a Mark II and it is literally falling apart. And as you guys will have noticed, the focus is shoddy. And I have changed it for a Sony ZV-1 Mark II. Those who know about cameras and vlogging will probably know about this. I know nothing. Also ordered the white one. I was quite tempted. I don't know why it excited me greatly having a white camera, but... It did. These are supposed to be very good. It's got something called, is it like products showcase feature where basically it very quickly focuses on something you hold up in front of it instead of focusing on your face all the time. I know nothing about cameras. I'm rubbish. I'm absolutely rubbish at cameras, but I'm excited for this. I feel like it looks, it looks good, it feels good. I don't know how it's gonna be vlogging with the screen on that side instead of on the top, but even just holding it now, I feel like it feels good. Should we switch over and see what it looks like? Also, didn't show you these. I just did these today. This is what I mean about this camera. Come on camera, there's not even a face in it. Come on, you can do it. You can change the focus. You can. There we go. I did this today. Excuse my cuticles that are very dry and like flaky, but I did this with my manicurist set and I'm very happy about it. And I'm hoping that it's gonna last all week and look nice for New York. Surprise! I am not at home right now. I'm actually already in New York. But I'm slipping this little piece of footage in here because let me tell you, this camera that I thought was so amazing has a big issue that I did not realize and I should have tested using it and enough before I vlogged being in New York. But essentially what's happened is a load of the footage ended up recording in slow-mo without sound. So I'm gonna have to improvise and what you're gonna see for this vlog and half of the next vlog is gonna be 
a little bit of VO when there wouldn't normally be VO. It's going to be a little bit weird, um, but hopefully still good. It hasn't recorded all of the footage without sound, but some of it. So I hope you guys understand. I now know how to avoid this happening, I hope and think. Um, but this morning I came to edit it. It's actually our last day here now. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me, camera? Other than that, the camera's been good. I mean, anyway, let's rewind. We're going to rewind back three days and continue on with the vlog. But just so you know why it's a bit weird and why there's weird VO, this camera takes some getting used to. So here we are without sound when there is supposed to be sound. I think at this point I'm telling you all how much I like this camera because it's so much wider. I just really like the way it looks. You can see more. I don't have to hold my arm out so far. Little did I know. Anyway, Squidge, what are you doing eating this apple? That is gross. It's a rotten apple that she's found outside on the floor. I am now in the midst of packing. This is what we've got going on. Laid everything out on the bed. I feel like I normally pack way, way ahead of time. I normally pack like a week in advance where I start packing. And it's a process. And I put everything on the bed. Whereas today, I started packing now. And it's just, I can't get my head around it. Anyway, skip forward an hour. I've laid everything out. But we're actually going out for dinner to the first Christmas party of the year. It is the parents' school party. So we're going basically just going out for dinner with all of the other parents in River's class. This is what I'm wearing. It's very dark in this room, so you can't really see. But I did put this outfit on Instagram as well. The jeans are actually the wide leg ones from Spanx, and I really like them. It's my first time wearing them. They're very, very long. Top is from Self-Portrait. Bag is vintage Chanel. Belt is Sandra. It's about a decade old. And then when we got back at midnight, here is me actually packing up my suitcase in Mike's giant fluffy dressing gown, ready for a 6 a.m. departure. I haven't actually told you guys, and this is me telling you, hey, I'm at this airport, I'm ready, I'm in my car. I'm actually going with my friend Min, who is one of my oldest, best school friends, and we've both got little ones, so it's a serious case of mums on tour. We are so excited for a weekend away. Guys, I found Min! <laughs> we are beyond excited for our little bestie weekend. Very, very excited. And currently just mooching around the airport, killing some time, child-free. Feels like I've forgotten something, but I don't think I have. So after a very smooth journey, in fact, the flight was great. We arrived in our hotel and this was the view from our room. We freaked out because the view is amazing. We were staying in Soho House, which is in meatpacking, kind of just right, literally right next to Chelsea Market. Amazing location. I've stayed here before. I absolutely love it. This is our room. I'll do a little room tour for you all. This is the bed. Some lovely chairs at the end of the bed. Bath in the middle of the room, which is amazing because it gives it a real open feel and it makes the room feel massive but it also has these sliding doors which you can close so you can obviously close off the bathroom if you want some privacy separate toilet and shower area which obviously is really nice and the shower looks really dingy but it was honestly the best shower ever i also love that they put full-size cow shed products in the shower because you feel like you do not have to hold back and yeah a little room tour for you all little vanity and we basically i'm just saying here love the room how exciting we're gonna go straight out and find some food. It took us an hour and 15 minutes in the immigration queue. So by the time we got to Manhattan, we were so hungry. Um, but where we're staying is amazing for food. I love staying downtown because it's a little bit quieter. The food's really good, but it's still really festive feeling and still really New York. Still no sound on this part. I'm just showing you my outfit for the evening. It's actually only about 5 p.m., but I'm wearing my H&M blazer, which I'm obsessed with. Quality is so good. It was 45 quid. Love it. I'm wearing my a Goldie leather trousers and my Cezanne shirt without being able to hear the proper audio for this. This looks so awkward, but I'm basically just showing you the details on my jacket. Um, I love the little embroidered hearts on this shirt as well. Like I said, it's from Cezanne. All my jewelry is from Raven James. And yeah, ready to go out. I'm also wearing my golden goose trainers. I wanted to wear heeled boots with this, but it's quite a long walk. So we just gave up on that idea. And I also was debating taking my glittery sparkly bag, but I actually went for my Chloe bag instead because it was only about 4.30 when we were heading out. And I feel like we were just going for a walk first. It was a bit OTT. We headed to Chelsea Market and my favorite place for ice cream, it's called Seed and Mill. They do oat milk ice cream with halva 
and tahini drizzle. It's possibly the most delicious thing in the entire world. Checked out the cutest little gingerbread village, which is in the middle of Chelsea Market. So cool. I'm not sure if this was here last time I came. I can't remember it. But it was very cute and we spent a few minutes looking at it and also checking out their Christmas decorations, which were very, very festive. Then we walked from basically the bottom of the High Line all the way up to the top at Hudson Yards. It was really festive. It was about 5 p.m. at this point. I haven't been to New York at Christmas in four years and I don't think Hudson Yards was even properly there at that point. So the lights were really spectacular. Then we walked down to Bryant Park Christmas Market, which was outrageously busy like I honestly wouldn't recommend going at 7 p.m at night it was a ropey decision but we did see these cute little mittens which I bought some for Riv and saw some vintage Beanie Babies which I resisted but if you guys follow me for a while you know how much I love Beanie Babies then we went for dinner at Waverly Inn and it was delicious we weren't allowed to film inside but it was good so we are back from dinner Min's gonna laugh at me because she's currently in the shower next door and can definitely hear me doing this looking a little bit disheveled because I definitely got the crazy jet lag feeling. I don't know what's going on with this camera here. It needs to be higher. I'm not drunk. I'm just savagely jet lagged. Anyway, I didn't really vlog in that restaurant because they had like a no photos policy. Um, but it was very, very good. We went to the Waverly Inn and it was really good. We both had burgers. They were delicious. I'm gonna take my makeup off, wash my face and go to bed and I'll see you all in the morning. I'm so tired, I've got that. Min was actually even saying, she's like, it feels like it's moving in here. I was like, it's just the jet lag. I'm gonna wash my face and then I'm gonna hit the pillow and I'm probably gonna be asleep before my head hits it. Good night all, and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning guys from day two in New York. I'm gonna show you my outfit, although I it's pretty much all black. I don't know how exciting it is. I've got my same coat on that I was wearing because I only brought one coat, same bag. Then I am wearing, it's so hot in here, but it's hopefully gonna be a bit cooler outside. I'm wearing these trousers, which are my new faves. They're from Lily Silk. They're just like very comfortable, wide leg silk trousers. The jumper is also from Lily Silk. It's like a cropped jumper. This was in my gift guide actually, but I like how wide the sleeves are. I think it's just really nice. And then my trainers which is a danger move because I've got a blister from yesterday and I've put on a blister plaster, but I'm thinking it's not good. I think we might have to maybe do some emergency purchasing of a new pair of trainers. The sad news is the weather is not looking great today. We had actually planned to walk across the Brooklyn Bridge to Dumbo House and it's been raining all morning. It's due to rain all day. So we're gonna go outside. We're gonna check out the vibe, aren't we, men? And see how we're feeling about walking an hour and a half versus getting a taxi or just going somewhere else. Let's go and explore and have a think. Guys, I'm so happy right now. All of my New York dreams are complete. I have a bagel and the biggest heap of smoked salmon you've ever seen. Although these waffles look outrageous. We actually ended up coming to the Standard Grill, which is obviously in the Standard Hotel, but like nowhere else was open. It's cute. I feel like today has been an all round fail so far. We just came to the Met. I don't know if you guys can see the line. From there, it goes all the way, not quite around the building, but pretty much. Travelled because we've escaped the rain for a quick lunch in Bloomingdale's and a little bit of a shot maybe. And I've got the world's smallest lobster roll for size reference and the world's smallest bowl of soup. I've got a shot of soup. Look how cute! I think these are way better than the Harrods Bears this year. I do not like the Harrods Bears this year. It's so beautiful. I've actually never seen so many lights in my life. I must have seen this before, but it feels like a long, long time ago since I've been in New York for Christmas. It's so busy though. We 
are back in the hotel room. This is what the rain has done to my hair today. Running the most aggressive, massive bath ever to rest my achy feet. I actually bought these trainers. These are my new trainers I bought. I'm so happy with them. They are so comfy. Now is the time when I've got blisters and sore feet. This is what happens when you have a bath like this for your sharing room. <laughs> You put enough bubbles, it's half water, half bubbles, and then you can chat in the bath. It's very nice. It I'll just be like here and you can be there. <laughs> Now I'm out of the bath, a little outfit of the evening for you all. Also, recurled my hair. I'm wearing my blazer that I was wearing last night from H&M. And then I have on this metallic green slip dress that you can't really see very well because the lighting in here is a bit crazy. And I'm going to put you on a lower table. The bag is our kept. So this is the shiny, sparkly bag that you saw in the last vlog. First time I've worn it. Cute. Don't know if it really goes with this outfit, but I didn't bring another evening bag. And then I have on my All Saints boots as well, which... I prefer these with a longer dress when you kind of, it, like without the slit, because I feel like they cut off your leg a little bit. We're actually going for drinks and then we are going across the road to catch for dinner because we were actually supposed to go for dinner to a place called La Tussi, which is supposed to be amazing, but our reservation was at 9.45. It was the only time I could get. And after how tired we were last night, I was like, I'm just not even gonna, like, we will be asleep at 9.45. Jet lag will be real tonight. Um, so instead we're going for dinner at 7.45, much more reasonable time for grandmas like us. Um, and Catch is the one with the rooftop over there. So we're basically going across the road, hence we're wearing heels and looking snazzy. Do you wanna do your outfit, Min? I really like this one. Min, so Min's normal job, can I say what you do for a normal job? Min has a very serious, important job. She's a lawyer. And so she's not used to my ridiculous vlogging stuff and finds it absolutely hilarious when I'm talking to camera. So basically every time I'm talking to camera, she's like giggling behind the camera and I'm forcing her to do outfits. I'm not sure if you'll see them because she's going to review them afterwards. She's like, you can only put them live if I'm happy with what it looks like. So I think she's going to be happy because she looks really nice. So here she is. <laughs> what are you wearing tonight, Wynn? Tonight I am wearing same boots as last night. The um, best boots, love them. The bow. So I jealous. The bow crazy. The dress is, I got it in Peter Jones actually. In is it maternity? It, it, it's actually no maternity, you can tell me what it is. Ghost. Ghost. It's from Ghost. From Ghost and H&M bow, or no, Amazon bow. Hair bows are very trendy at the moment. I mean, wears hair bows all the time. Anyway, she started the trend. Oh, and earrings, of course, very important. From Raven James. Raven James. Nice, represent my best customer. Friends. That just reminded me, I'm actually not wearing the earrings that I wanted to be wearing. I'm going to change them to wear the new earrings that I... Oh, nearly dropped the hair straighteners. That I have just... Literally, they've hit the website. When this goes up, they will be live. They are the Andromeda earrings. And they are a limited edition for Christmas. I'll pop them on and show you. So this is what they look like. Love. They're actually based on our Stella pendant shape. But they have like the drop. So it's kind of like a vintage vibe, very festive. Wearing those tonight, let's go and have a little cocktail. And I'm very excited for the food tonight because it's sushi and um, like lots of fish and seafood and deliciousness. I have not been to this one. I've been to the one in LA um, and it's right up my street. So we have some sushi. <laughs> I got like a spicy tuna, some kind of deliciousness. What did you get in? Is it avocado? Oh. Truffle avocado. Got a little drink. We also just got our mains. This is my absolute favorite thing in the world. Crispy rice with tuna. Although, a little bit jealous of this situation. Lobster mac and cheese. Just like the good old days, I forgot to finish the vlog last night because I fell asleep and Min actually recorded me. <laughs> I fell asleep on my laptop, like literally um, face into laptop. Um, and I just wanted to hop on and say goodbye and end this vlog. I have a very exciting thing happening today, which will be in the next part of the vlog that I cannot wait to tell you about. Um, so make sure you come and join me and I will see you there. I hope you guys have enjoyed a sneak peek into our first couple of days in New York and I will see you next time.